Fairer Together is a partnership focused on challenging inequality. It's been around thinking and understanding the data for disproportionality and disparity. Where are the disparities? Where are the disproportionalities? And then we ask ourselves, once we know that, why are there those disproportionalities? It's all about disrupting the way we think. So I thought, you know, two years ago, I would have described myself as anti-racist. I look back on it now in terms of everything that has happened since then with our Black History Month 365, with the Race Equality Network uh, in the council. And I think I understand so much more. It's about putting the community front and centre. We listen to what they're, they're asking us to do. We're doing it and we're going back. We're also measuring the impact as well. So again, we're not simply saying we put this program in place and it's going to make a difference. We're trying to evaluate and measure it. Um, Long-term impact for us is we want a systematical change in how we address young black men and mental health. It's about really getting to grips with the lived experience, the reality of that, the challenges, the barriers that people are facing. We're being able to engage so much better with our residents in lots of different ways, whether that's working groups, going out to the community and engaging with them, and hearing firsthand what are the problems that they're facing. So for instance, if some of our young people feel persecuted or victimised by the police, we work with the police and the young person to overcome that. And thinking about how do we bring partners, resources, people together and wrap them around those communities. We have regular meetings with strategic partners across the council, including housing, residence support. And what it really does, sends a message at Eastland Third Council are really taking it seriously in terms of trying to support local residents. What we've done is change the, the nature of the dialogue. The residents are seeing a real honest conversation. They're feeling their voices heard and they're feeling the change is happening. It's only in the last few years that I've been able to have conversations like that at work. But the fact that we are now having that different type of dialogue, you can start to see how that is actually influencing action and experience and outcome for people.